Have you ever wondered how mobile communication came into existence? It all started back in the 1920s. Some US police departments began using two-way radios. It made staying in touch with patrol cars much easier. Now officers could share updates in real time. Soon after, Detroit taxi companies picked up the same tech. Drivers switched channels based on their location to talk to dispatch. That's when people realized this wasn't just a tool, it was the future. Jump to 1973. Motorola engineer Martin Cooper introduced the world's first mobile phone. It weighed over 700 grams, worked for 30 minutes, and took 10 hours to recharge. The price? $4,000. Let's be honest, not the best solution. And there was one major drawback. These early phones didn't have SIM cards and phone numbers. People were completely tied to a single device. If you changed phones, you had to go to your provider and manually transfer your identity. That changed in 1991 with the arrival of 2G and the first SIM cards. About the size of a credit, they were tiny computers with a processor, memory, and encryption modules. Over time, SIMs got smaller. First, the mini SIM, then the micro SIM, introduced with the iPhone 4, and later, the nano SIM with the iPhone 5. And today, there's eSIM. No plastic, no swapping. Just a download, and you're online. Companies like YesSIM provide modern alternatives to traditional SIM cards and help users stay connected worldwide.